Today we're going to be ranking our hotels in Montenegro and this video might help you decide where to stay when you go to visit this amazing country. So make sure you stay until the end and you share with us your thoughts. Let us know in the comments. Before we start the video, thank you so much to Arna Dalvi and Ken for their amazing comments in the past videos. We spent one week in Montenegro and we stayed in five different hotels all around the country. And today we are going to be ranking them in four different categories. Our ranking is going to be based on the price, location, comfortability and the host. If you want to check out any of the hotels in more detail, we've put the link in the description below. In fifth place, we've got Ghani Hotel Milica. We do apologize in advance if we're pronouncing the names incorrectly. On the right, we've got the toilet. The water was pretty cold, not gonna lie. Here we've got a little table. We have a kitchen. The bed is right here, very, very close to the little kitchen. As you can see, the bed is not very comfortable. It's as thin as a cardboard. <laughs> The roof terrace! It is huge, you get all the views from up here. But before we look at the views, let's have a look at the sauna. We've got a clip of us in the sauna in our day three vlog. So make sure you go and watch it. This sauna was amazing. You can literally control everything on that. And we even had music playing in the speakers connected by Bluetooth. <laughs> Crazy. Good morning! Shut the f***. <laughs> A night in this hotel costs 31 euros, which leaves it at 4 out of 5 on price. For the location, we gave it a 4 out of 5 because the location was really good, just 2 minutes away from the beach. But it didn't get a 5 because it was really hard to find. For comfortability and coziness, we've given it a 2.5. Now, this breaks down into a few little things. First one being, we got there and there was construction outside the bedroom. And the main reason why we booked this hotel is because there was a jacuzzi on the rooftop. And when we got there, the host said the jacuzzi wasn't working because it was too cold. So make sure that you ask before you go to the hotel. And finally, the bed wasn't the most comfortable. It was very thin and we came from a long drive. Now, this was our personal experience. We did go in winter. So if you go in summer, it might be that you get a different experience. So bear that in mind. And finally, for the host rating, we gave it a 2 out of 5. We found that the host was a bit rude when we talked about the jacuzzi and it just gave an overall really bad experience and we almost left the hotel and tried to find a new one because we really weren't happy with the experience. It was a bit awkward and also we asked him for one favour before we went to the sauna, there was a big massive flower pot in front of the door and we asked him to please move it. We got there and... He didn't move it. But at least we got to enjoy the sauna all by ourselves. In fourth place, we've got Queen Quadra Apartments in Olsinje. The bathroom. They bought this in the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> and now, the bedroom. This is the mansion, ladies and gents. Finally, we've got the corner. The mugs, which are on a fridge with... So many stains. <laughs> yeah. This hotel was a bargain. We only paid 13 euros. So for the price, we gave it a 5 out of 5. In terms of location, it was located in the middle of nowhere. In fact, when we were driving up to the hotel, we missed the exit and we had to go back. So for that reason, we gave it a 3 out of 5. For comfortability and coziness, we gave it a 2 out of 5. The pictures on booking looked completely different from the hotel when we got there and it was just really disappointing. And finally, we give it a 3 out of 5 for host and this breaks down simply to the fact that the night before we let the host know that we were leaving very early that day and when the morning came, he did not turn up so we had to leave him a 2 euro tip. Now, we don't mind leaving a 2 euro tip but it wasn't planned and it didn't feel very natural. For the third place, it was battling very close with the second place. So depending on when you go, you can exchange these positions. And this is Etno Village Komarnika in Sapnik. Our cabin in the middle of the mountains. This is Donna, by the way. We've got our little pass to our cabin. We've got Black Cat, name unknown. <laughs> Hello! And other cat, this one is very, very loud, constantly meowing. 
And the coolest thing about this cabin, it's got a swimming pool. This swimming pool apparently in the summer gets up to 40 degrees Celsius. When you come in, you've got the kitchen area. There's also a sofa. Next up, we've got the bathroom. Shower pressure is fantastic. And there is floor heating. The stairs are a bit narrow, but it's part of the vibe. The cabin has a single bed and then a king bed for the kings. And the best part of this is waking up to these beautiful views right over there. This hotel was 80 euros per night. Now, it might not seem like a lot, but for Montenegro, it felt like a lot, taking into account all the other hotels. And that's why we've given it a three out of five. But we do have to say that this hotel was in the mountains, so it was probably more in season than the other ones. For location, we've given it a four out of five. This hotel is very, very secluded, which is what it's there for. But that means it was very hard to find. At one point, we thought we were lost because we just kept driving down this road forever. And then we saw the little houses and we knew we were there. For comfortability and coziness, we've given it a 4.5 out of 5. And the reason why we didn't give it a 5 is because the swimming pool didn't get as warm as we expected. Now, it was freezing cold and it wasn't as enjoyable, but that's the only reason. The rest was perfect. And finally, for the host, it's obviously a five out of five. We had an amazing experience. And when I say the host, I also want to give a shout out to Donna, the amazing dog and the two cats. I absolutely love them. And having them around just made the experience even nicer. However, I wasn't a big fan of the cats. It felt like we had the magnet all the time. Everywhere we went, they just followed. Even when we got to the car, they entered the car and they wouldn't come out. We just had to spend like 30 minutes trying to pick one out and then the other one would jump back in. It was actually really funny. <laughs> and in second place, drum roll please, Busnik Studio Apartment in Satinje. This is the entrance, as you can see. Here you go, yeah. This is an apartment, as you can see, by the cooking facilities. Here is the toilet. Simple, great. We've got here a seating area, another seating area. Last but not least, the bedroom area. Big bed, it's super warm in here, got extra duvet. This hotel was 25 euros per night and we definitely gave it a five out of five for the price very cheap super cheap <laughs> when we initially booked the apartment it was only called studio apartment which means we were not able to find it by typing into google maps but since we did our last video about it they actually fixed it and now they've put Vusnik studio apartment in the booking name so now you easily be able to find it and that's why we've given it a three out of five for comfortability and coziness we gave it a 4.5 it was great I do have to say, the only reason why we lost that 0 0.5 is because the shower head was not attached to the wall. So every time we had to shower, we just had to hold it like this. Now it's just a small thing, which some people won't mind, but it's a small tip that if you want to get that five, just attach it. And lastly, we given a five to the hosts. Initially, the mom received us and she didn't speak English, but then the daughter came to the rescue and her English was very 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 good and that just made our day really it was really good and we were able to talk a bit and talk about locations and she also indicated some restaurants we could go to so that was life-saving and in first place apartment, apartment compliment. compliment in Podgorica. right here you've got the hole where we've left our suitcases because we just got here we've got the bathroom Lights on. So this is quite basic, just double bed, bedside tables, TV here. We've got this very big and lovely living room with a big L-shaped sofa, sofa? <laughs> big TV, shelves, and then the balcony should be here. 
Let's go and check the jacuzzi. <laughs> the jacuzzi. Come and check it out. Unreal. This is, wow, I've got no words for this. Now, of course, it had to be the five-star hotel, <laughs> but we are going to break it down. One night in this hotel cost 65 euros. And that's why we've given it a four out of five. In terms of location, it's definitely a five. It was very, very central, nearby to everything. And very easy to get to with underground parking as well. That was amazing. For comfortability and coziness, we've given it a 4.5 out of five. Now, as you saw from the video, it was a humongous apartment with jacuzzi, very nice bed, very nice lighting, and in general, just spot on. And finally, for the host category, this was probably the most proper hotel we stayed in. So obviously when we say host, there was a reception. And we've given it a five out of five because everybody that worked there was incredible. They actually gave us the best recommendation for a restaurant, which was the Niagara restaurant. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go and watch it because it was incredible. You must try that restaurant if you go into Podgorica. And that's been the ranking for the hotels that we stayed in Montenegro. Let us know in the comments if you agree with the ratings and if you do plan on staying on one of these hotels and you have any more questions for us. So make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.